What's up, guys? How's everybody doing? So, I've been talking about how vegans, and this doesn't apply just to vegans, but vegans specifically, in my context, are completely illogical. They don't make any sense. Thus, or because, or thus and because, veganism itself doesn't make any sense. It's illogical, right? So if you allow yourself to be possessed by this illogical ideology, you're going to find yourself being illogical in order to justify it, right? Because you're not looking for the truth. You already think you know what the truth is, and then you have to twist reality to fit that truth, right? That's ideology. So I'm going to give you some examples now. And ultimately, why this is important is because, well, we want to be able to make sense of the world we live in. We want to be able to be logical. Because if we're discussing the problems and solutions to these problems that occur in the real world, if we're not being logical, then we can't be trusted to first and foremost be able to identify what the problems are. And definitely, we can't be trusted to provide any solutions either. And Isaac, who is an extremely illogical person, relies on these brainwashed ideologues that are completely illogical themselves in order to even have any credibility. Objectively, he doesn't have any credibility, but subjectively, he does because he's surrounded by completely illogical people who support his lack of logic. I already pointed out how illogical he is in many ways saying that you could remove humanity from the human and that's still going to be somehow a human, right? Completely and utterly illogical. Or how he establishes the rules for what it, for how the debate should go, right? What it means to win the debate. But then when I address the point that he made, following logically from what he started saying, and I want to, you know, expound on that, get an explanation, and also find out what the rules are for me winning, he then says he doesn't want to talk about the conversation when he started talking about the conversation, right? Completely illogical. Or when we got to a certain point where that wasn't clear for me that I needed him to explain what he meant, right? In order to be on the same page as him, in order to be able to make logical statements. See, a lot of people don't seem to know what logic is, period. Well, logic is a method by which you find out what's true. So you start out with axioms that are assumed to be true, truths that we have to agree upon if we are to have a you know a logical conversation we have to agree that this is true and then from there we build other truths by using logic by using inferences and you know using um, other true statements to build from that initial truth that's logic basically so because ask yourself wanted to be way ahead. He wanted to just skip over the sticking point in the debate where it was lacking logic, right? I remove humanity from the human and I'm still calling it human. Or you say human and I interpret that as consciousness, right? Strawmanning my position, basically. There were two major, maybe more, sticking points way behind still to where he wanted to be. So basically what he was doing is he was pretending to make logical points based in fallacies, right? You can't do that. That's illogical. So he completely rejected logic and just wanted to uh, keep plowing through with his bullshit, basically, right? That wasn't based in logic. And these are, I'm going to give you right now some examples of illogical people who have to be illogical in order to believe that veganism is correct and in order to be able to agree with an illogical person like ask yourself. So here's Sabloi. Um, I'm guessing he's vegan. I would know. But he's definitely an ask yourself supporter, at least in this context. He says, quote, this was meant to be a debate, not a discussion. You agreed for AY to start. So he began his line of questioning questions. Your request for establishing winning and losing premises had nothing to do with his question. Well, no shit. <laughs> Sherlock. Sure
how smart. So basically what he says is this was meant to be a debate, not a discussion. Now, a debate is a discussion and a discussion can be a debate, but a debate is a formal discussion characterized by rules, right? Yeah, that's it. So he makes that distinction, right? This is a debate, not a discussion. But then he goes on to say that my request for establishing the rules of the discussion, which would make it a debate, are irrelevant. So he says, this is a debate because I support Isaac. And when you're saying it's a debate, I say it's a discussion. He doesn't want it to be a debate when I'm... He doesn't want me to debate, basically. So it's a debate. And then he says, no, it's just a discussion. And then what does he say? In order to have an honest debate, you should just answer the person's question. So what is he doing? He's once again establishing rules. Or he's saying that in order for this to be a debate, these rules have to be followed, which is exactly what I was saying, right? So this person just conveniently contradicts themselves and skips. First he says, it's a debate, not a discussion. Then he says, well, okay, it's a discussion. And then he says, no, it's a debate, right? Doesn't make a lick of sense completely contradicts himself and refutes whatever else you think sublowy, that is, whatever else you think you're saying should be taken into consideration is complete gibberish and garbage. You, you, you lost, essentially, is what I'm saying. Nobody needs to listen to you until you can demonstrate that you understand what a debate is, what a discussion is, and why this was a debate. And you clearly failed, so... Moving on to Lucifer, Iblis, which kind of looks like Lucifer, I bless. Go figure. He says, I'm a vegan. Well, thanks for that. And uh, in the next sentence is what I'm... Oh, no. Here. The impossibility of a hypothetical, three sentences down, does not invalidate the logical validity of a hypothetical. As I explained in another video... A hypothetical has to be possible, which doesn't mean it has to exist in the world today, right? Like Isaac was trying to strum in my position by saying, no, that's not a hypothetical. That's, and this is another contradiction on his part and another rejection of logic, right? That wouldn't be a hypothetical. That would be uh, something that exists. That would be reality, right? Hypothetical is not reality. So to, obviously, I wasn't saying that a hypothetical is something that exists in, in, you know, the current world as we know it, because that's reality. The kid didn't make any fucking sense. But anyway, hypothetical means it has to be possible. If, in philosophy at the very least, it has to be logical in order to be hypothetical. And anything that's logical, well, is possible, right? So at the very least... The hypothetical has to be logical, but to say that you could take humanity out of the human and still call that human, well, that's completely illogical. You can't do that, right? You can't take the essence of what it means to be a tree out of the tree and still pretend like it's a tree, right? You can't separate the essence from the object because the object is the essence, period. At least that was how I defined human, right? So he goes on to say that the impossibility of a hypothetical does not invalidate the logical validity of the hypothetical, right? So what I called impossible is the reason why I called the hypothetical impossible again is because it was illogical. So what he's saying is that, and what hypothetical means is impossible, right? So you could translate this sentence by using the words correctly or to make it you should translate the sentence so that it makes more sense and there are two ways you could do this right you could say because hypothetical means possible that's what the sentence would read if you make that swap right the impossibility of an impossible does not invalidate the logical validity of the possible so the fact that What's possible is impossible doesn't make it impossible. Is basically what he's saying. That's not illogical at all. Or if you say impossibility is the reason why a hypothetical is impossible is because it's illogical. So you swap illogical for the hypothetical. This is the sentence you come up with. The lack of logic of the hypo hypothetical does not invalidate the logical validity of a hypothetical. That's what this person is saying, right? 
but I should be interested in what they have to say and why they're vegan, right? Because they think they make perfect sense. They don't make any sense. They completely contradict themselves. And this is, you'll observe this if you pay attention with vegans over and over and over again because their worldview is so full of bullshit. If you let them talk, I told you many times before, guys, if you let the vegan talk, inevitably he will put his foot in his mouth. Now, this is a female vegan right here, Kaori Flora, who says the following. I don't think I've ever heard any debate where win-lose conditions are established in advance. Well, just because you didn't catch on to the fact that that was established, that's not my fault. Or you weren't actually hearing or watching any debates. Then she goes on to say, the audience decides who won lost after the debate, based on who argued their case the best. <laughs> how, do you, how do you know who argued their case the best without establishing what the rules are for arguing your case the best? How do you do that? You say the audience decides who won or lost, establishing a rule. You're establishing a rule for what it means to win or lose the debate, right? But then you say you've never heard any debate where win-lose conditions are established in advance. But you seem to think that you're not contradicting yourself because when it comes to win-lose conditions, you say in advance. And then when it comes to deciding who won or lost, you say after. Well, logically, you can only decide what, who won the debate after the debate is over. And in order to be able to decide that, you have to have some pre-established rules that happen before the debate. So just because you're saying you're qualifying your statements with quote, in advance, or quote-unquote after, that doesn't mean you're not contradicting yourself, because logically, once again, you have to establish the rules before the debate, before you can say who won or lost the debate. And since you do admit that rules have to be established in order to decide this debate, and you are establishing the rules of who wins the debate by saying the audience gets to decide, Logically, you have to agree that the rules for winning or losing the debate have to be established prior to all of that because, well, logic has to follow a certain sequence, right? It has to be logical, right? You have to build from axioms, the rules of the debate, and then establish, make the, make the conversation, um, make sure the conversation is logical continues to be logical based on these axioms, right? You, com you completely contradict yourself and you think you're not simply because you qualify your statements and, and, and you say that this is the timeline with this before and after shit. Anyway, this is vegans for you guys. They don't make any sense. They don't. And this isn't just vegans, but definitely vegans. They don't make any sense because their worldview doesn't make any sense and they have to twist reality to make it congruent with their ideological, illogical worldview, right? And because there is enough of them out there who have been brainwashing themselves or have brainwashed themselves with this illogical worldview, you know, when they will anoint a guru that supports their ideology, but in order for them to anoint that person, right, and agree with that person, that person also has to be illogical, right? Really basic stuff, if not completely apparent off the bat. So, once again, the way you can tell someone's worldview is illogical, one way you can tell is, well, because it's illogical, but also because the person themselves that hold this worldview they're very illogical people just in general they don't understand logic they don't they don't know they don't know the world they live in they don't understand the world they live in thus they cannot present it as it is because the world is illogical just because we don't understand everything about the world that doesn't mean we can't see the logic in it there there's logic everywhere the world makes sense if you're not able to see that well i mean then maybe you won't be able to understand why every debate has to have rules, right? Or we just lack the knowledge to understand certain things. But there's plenty enough of logic out there for us to know that the world is logical. And besides, if, if it wasn't logical, you wouldn't be trying to make sense of it or you wouldn't be trying to propose solutions to problems if you didn't believe that the world has to be logical, right? Of course. So 
when you have these vegans who are constantly contradicting themselves, saying things such as, you know, oh, why can't I think of an example right now? But, for example, you know, you can't eat an animal with your bare teeth and claws, so you're not a carnivore, right? When you can't eat a coconut the same way, or grain, or <laughs> all these highly processed foods, right? You can't do that either. But that doesn't figure, uh, that doesn't, to them, it doesn't explode or implode their internal ethical system or their understanding of what logic is, right? To them, that's it's perfectly fine to be hypocritical in, in that respect, right? Or this idea that drinking uh, another animal's milk is just so wrong because it's just it's not meant for you. It's meant for this other animal, meaning it's just it's so different, right? But somehow it's possible to milk almonds, cashews, and and soybeans, right? And and call that milk, right? Because that's, <laughs> biologically, that's so much closer to human milk than cow's milk is to human milk, right? These people are completely illogical. They don't make any sense. Their ideology, it doesn't make any sense. You want to be vegan because of how you feel? You have every right to do that. But stop pretending this shit is logical. It ain't. Thanks for watching, guys.